This is the ultimate fast food french fry tier list. If you're new here, my name is Stefan Johnson. Every week I bring you food, comedy, and voiceover content. If you like the way any of that sounds, my babies, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and join me on this wild, greasy, and salty ride. Folks, you heard it here first. We are going to compile the ultimate tier list as far as our french fry potatoes go that we can get at a drive through Let's get right into the list. First off, we got Raisin Cane's. Raisin Cane's ain't raising nothing hard over here. We are going to put that as a B tier, mid tier, if you will. Checkers and rallies, I've never seen the employees smile, but god dang it, they make a mean fry. We're gonna put them on A tier. Arby's, Arby's don't do shit else right. Arby's don't do a thing right, but those curly fries, those curly fries are delightful. Those will make your nipples wet. And with that said, S tier. Curly fry, mm, let's move on. Burger King, <clears throat> those, they taste like possum bones. They are dry husks without a soul that don't deserve human consumption. Them Chick-fil-A fries, they're basic. There's not much to them, just a, just a waffle cut fry. But damn it, I'm here for them. They're gonna get mm, A tier. Hardee's, mid tier, they don't, they don't rock my balls. Culver's is a sleeper on everything they do. The burgers, the shakes, and the fries. We're gonna put them up in A. Del Taco, subpar. On the opposite side, subpar of, on everything they do. No, no, I'll give them C. I'll eat them if they're available, but I would never seek them out. Love that chicken from Popeyes. And I love the fries too. Um, we're gonna put them on A tier. Five Guys fries. You just need some potato salt and oil sometimes. And it's something about the way they fry them. Uh, and they cut them fresh in the store. S tier, easily. In and out's D tier. In and out does not get on the list. In and out's not on the list. They are just you Californians hype them up so much. And go ahead, go in my comments if you want to. If you want to, uh, you mad about you mad? You mad about your In and Out burger? You mad that I'm put? Yeah, fine. screw you guys. KFC. <sighs> now th their fries are pretty good, but they will never hold a candle those potato wedges they had back in the day. Potato wedges have been gone for about three years now and my black ass soul cries every night from the potato wedges. So if we're but if we're judging the fries, not the wedges, B. They're they're decent. Slightly above decent. McDonald's We all have a spot in our heart for McDonald's fries, don't we? They they they're like the the benchmark, if you will. Um, but that said, if you don't eat them within the first five minutes of them being handed to you through the window, they are uh, they are as brittle as my last relationship. We're gonna put them at B. Just again, mid tier, middle of the road. Smash burger. I don't think I've had smash burger before. Um, we're gonna put that at D tier just because I haven't had it. Sonic fries, man. Sonic is one of those places where everything is good and people don't appreciate them. You you don't appreciate, I guarantee you, you watching this, you don't appreciate Sonic the way you should be appreciating Sonic. Um, they are very good fries. Um, always perfectly crisp and they also do um, potato tots as well. Uh, they are great. Steak and Shake, uh, Steak and Shake, um, they... Those they have those little bitty like shoe like like thinner than shoe string fries. They are just they're barely there and they're, they're pretty much like chips. Once you fry them, you fry something that small up, it's pretty much like the consistency of like a potato chip, and it defeats the purpose of having fries. If I wanted potato chips, I would eat potato chips. Steak and shake. Um, so you're gonna get in the C tier. Those Taco Bell fries though, folks. Those Taco Bell fries. They they threw me at first with them. I was not ready for how good they are going to be. The taco seasoned fries, we should have knew it was going to work. Moving on. Wendy's. Wendy's, oh, it's such a debacle with them. It's, it's always a debacle with Wendy's. They either undersalt your fries or it's like they take the entire ocean, dry it out, and dump it on your potatoes. There's rarely any middle ground. Wendy's, damn. I'm going to have to give you C tier. I don't want to do it because I love everything else. Wendy's, baby. Wendy's. Baby, I love you, everything you do except for your fries. 
Ah, uh, what you gonna go see, dear? Whataburger, Whataburger, Whataburger. The fries are just nothing to write home about. They're not bad fries. They just, they don't, they don't get me hard. They don't get me hard. In and out. No. No, we don't do you here. We don't love you. Off, can I, I can't take this off the list. You stay there. You don't have any friends. Folks, this is the ultimate fast food french fry tier list that will end all other fast food french fry tier lists. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. If you don't agree with me, let me know in the comments. If you would move one thing and put the other thing here and put that other thing behind it, let me know in the comments. We can talk about it and debate about it down there. Folks, go ahead and click some things around my head. I promise you they're all fun. They're all new. They're all fresh. I've been me. You be you. And I will see you soon.